Circumstances taught me how to live, live my life. Sometimes situations You asked to see me, sir. How did you manage to sneak yourself into my hospital? I don't understand, sir. Who interviewed you? Answer me! Sir, it's, it's the metro. Please, sir. If it's about my absence from work this morning, I took permission from the matron and she asked me to look for someone to swap with and I did. It was made clear that we don't accept nurses with families at the point of entry. But we just realized that you lied about it. It's written here in a recruitment form. Sir, I take the box which signifies that I'm single because I am. Oh, really? Really? So, so what are you now? A lawyer? You're single with a child! I mean... It's still a deal. Come take a look at this! I'm here! Look at this. I'm talking to you. Now, it is stated in this form here. There's a space for single, married and others. Others! Which allows applicants the opportunity to explain it further. But if not that you were trying to play smart, you would have taken the others. That way you would have had the opportunity of explaining your predicament. Instead of coming to my hospital with this, your lackness of the latitude. Sorry, sir. Sorry for yourself. As if that isn't enough. There's few days after his option. You're already skipping work. Sir, I honestly didn't plan to ask smart anyone. I really need this job. It has made our lives better. My son has started going to school, which he was not able to. Get out of my office. Get out of my office, you Jeffrey. Sir, please. I only took my son to the hospital. I don't even mind doing double shifts for missing this morning. I'm sorry, sir. Listen to yourself. You have a son. Yet you decided to pick up a job that wouldn't allow you to stay at home. It's either you get up later or most times you don't even sleep at all. What kind of a mother are you? Listen, this job is not meant for single moms. So go back home. Your son needs you. Sir, please. Please, I'm really sorry, sir. You're sorry. I feel sorry would solve everything. I mean, if sorry could solve everything, there wouldn't be a need for the prison or, or the police. Now get out of my sight. Get out. <sighs> that right nonsense. Lazy idiot. Hmm. My dear Nurse Sandra, we will miss you dearly in this hospital. You are one of the dedicated few. To make matters worse, Nurse Ejiro left last week for the U.S. And now you. I'm really sorry about that. I'll miss you too. I'll miss all of you greatly. But I need to join my husband in the U.S. He's getting impatient with me already. I know. It's just that um, I feel bad because it's impromptu. And you have to forfeit your one month's salary because of the contract 
I know that. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I need to leave now. I have so many things to sort out. And I'll be leaving in two days. All right, dear. Yeah. All the best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a nice day. Adrian, good evening. Sit. How dare you try to put me in trouble? I'm sorry, ma. I did not know that the MD does not employ single moms. Don't misquote us anywhere, please. Because I can see you are trouble. That clause applies only to your level. And that is the entry level. It's quite understandable. I, am I not married? Ma. Please, this job is a lifesaver for my son and I. Please, as a mother, don't allow the MD to fire me. I really need this job. So that the MD will think we both planned it together, right? No, leave my office. And please, I should leave. Today, oh, wait, good evening. Good evening. Have you said? Thank you, sir. No, Sandra. She resigned today. She wants to join her husband in the U.S. The nurse you all attended our wedding last year. She is dedicated. Was actually. Yes, she was, sir. And I've had them prepare nurse Nika Sackley. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Just that we will need a replacement for Sandra. Her absence will definitely be felt. Hmm. That's true. Uh, okay, you know what? In that case, uh, let's uh, stay on action on issuing that lousiness a sack letter. No, Nika. Yes, of course. Um... Until we find a replacement. I don't think that's the best thing to do right now. You know, we've lost two nurses in the same department just in the course of one week. So for that reason, let's just stay down action. All right, sir. Um, yes, uh, Mitra, sir. henceforth, please ensure that everyone signs a contract stating that nobody leaves job without giving at least a minimum of one month notice, else we sue. All right, sir. I believe they know what that means. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, yes, and um, tell the accountant to make uh, Nurse Sandra's salary available. Yes, sir, let's give it to her. So I thought the new contract states that one month salary be forfeited if anyone Resigns with no prior notice. Later on. Yes, I know. But let's just give it to her. Let's say it's a prize for being dedicated. Okay. All right, sir. Thank you very it's much. It's all right, sir. I'll do just that. Uh, uh, yes, uh, you can oh, go okay, this. Uh, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Such is life.
Welcome, baby. Marka. You didn't tell me you were coming. Do I have to tell my fiance I'm coming to his house? You, eh? <laughs> How was work? Well, uh, not bad. Uh, do I had um, a major surgery today. It's quite hectic. That's why you look so tired. Don't worry. Just go upstairs, freshen up. I already set the table for you, and I made something special for you. Really? Yes. Ah, from what I see from here, <laughs> it looks enticing. Of course it is. You're back. I'll be right back. See you. All right, honey. Good boy. Good boy. It's it's French the one you're not. Hmm? Let me give you another one. Ah uh ah, -uh, why now? Hmm? No, welcome. Let me give you one. Oh, welcome again. Thank you. How has he been? He has refused to eat. Though. My love, why now? Hmm? I love him so much. You know, if you don't eat, you can't take your medications. And if you don't take your medications, you continue to be sick. And that makes mommy cry. You know, right? Do you want mommy to cry? Yeah, come, let me feed you. Come. Mm -hmm. So, how was work today, Mom? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I almost got fired, though. What? Hey, Chukwa, Chukwa. Almost got fired. I'm telling you. God will not allow that to happen. With the little money we are using to manage. Hey, Mbakwao. How my boss even forgive me, I can't explain. Because he had already said I should expect my letter. Ah, to that extent? I'm telling you. Everybody knows that man to be grouchy. Hey. The only good thing about him is his generosity. He pays on the due dates. That's all. Aside that, he's impossible. He must be. For him to want to sack you for skipping work after swapping your duty with another nurse. I mean, that's not even the reason. What was the reason? Because I have a child. Hmm, imagine. And so? He said he doesn't employ nurses with family for my level. Enokwa. Hey! <laughs> hey, I thank God mm -hmm. that I didn't suck you. Okay, but I gotta say a bit. It tastes good. Mm -hmm. Not all. Did you actually prepare this? No. Just the fruit and water. Our wedding plan actually brought this. So we could have a taste of what we'll be serving our guests on our wedding day. Oh my God. You've already gotten the caterer. When we've not picked a date? Mm -hmm. We've picked several dates. And none seems to suit you. You know how erratic you can be. I don't want you to spring up on me anytime. You call me erratic? Mm. Really? Babe. You does know what I mean. I mean, you work so hard, you're always busy. So I feel in, in those times when you cannot be here. <sighs> well, to be honest, fruit tastes good. But don't pay Kitra yet. Why, Epoka? Why do you always delay our wedding plan? Why? Oh my God, not again, not this time, please. Listen, I am not delaying anything. I'm only waiting for the right time. The right time? Yes. I'm 35 and you're 38. We've been dating for two good years. If you ask me, the best time is now. Epoka, the best time is now. 
Um, four. I think I need to grow this now. Vegan. I'll be having an early start tomorrow. I wasn't built like this. Oh. I wasn't oh. born this way. Circumstances taught me how to live, live my life. Sometimes situations can turn an angel into a demon. I tell the certain us I'm working with today to see me right away. Okay, sir. One more thing, please. Prepare the theater with this. So don't let your past determine your future. Don't let your yesterday determine your tomorrow. Don't let your What sort of arid nonsense is this? What a height of incompetence is that? What happened in there? So this is exactly what you people do whenever I'm not around. Who actually didn't set up the theater? Who did? I, I, I did. I, it was. Did you see the list I set? How come nothing was prepared? Is she the one we sent? No, sir. I'm, I'm only assisting Nurse Lizzie as an errand nurse. She said you told her what to do. Yes, Doctor. Nurse Lizzie is the one who picked the instruments. I, I'll get it from the No, let me get it. Okay. It's not. Is, isn't Nurse Lizzie the one assigned uh, on the uh, Nurse Sandra? Yes, Doctor. Nurse Lizzie? Yes, sir. I take it to mean that you've been working in this hospital for some years now. Am I correct? Yes, sir. You are correct, sir. Sir, I have worked in National Hospital sir, for seven years. Yes, sir. And I worked in downtown hospital, sir, for five years. And of course, your own hospital for three good years. Yes, sir. In this business, I'm a professional. Matron. Sir. Uh, um, hold on. Nos Lizzie has been assigned on the Nosandra all this while. Now Nosandra is known. Longer with us? So that means you've been hiding under Nassandra's competence? Oh, goodness. You're absolutely dumb! That's exactly what you are! No, sir. You're wrong, sir. Sir, I am not dumb. Sir, it's just that this head, sir, this head you're seeing here, is going through a lot, sir. If I tell you what this head is going through, sir, you will pity me. Sir, you will pity me. I am not dumb, sir. Sabuto, calm down. This head is going to be a lot, sir. Metro. I'm sorry, sir. Yes, go. sir. I should go? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. But, sir, what about the, the surgeon? I am dressed. Let's go. Yes, sir. Eh? Thank you. Go. Uh, yes. For the surgeon. Let's oh, go. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. <sighs> Doctor, oh goodness. I'm sorry, sir. Metro, 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 just hold on. How did that non entity get into my hospital? I'm sorry, sir. Where was I? I'm sorry, sir. You're sorry? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Uh, Metro, I need a replacement for Nurse Lizzie immediately. Hey, sir. Right, every sir. Uh, please, uh, do your final check. Uh, Make sure that everything is in order in the theater. Until then, please don't send for me. All right, sir. Sorry, sir. <sighs> oh, goodness. Mr. Clitus, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling better. Good. Can you breathe in, please? Deeper. Okay. One more. Okay. 
Okay, good. It's a clitoris. You'll be fine. Uh, your vitals are okay, and um, the fever is no longer there. But um, you'll be given your last dose of injection today. Hmm? Okay, thank you. Good. Doctor. Yes? Please, can your snake give me the injection? Because I usually don't feel pain when she handles it. Really? Yes. Okay. Um, Mr. Kletus, if that's your wish, uh, we will definitely grant it uh, before you discharge tomorrow. Thank you. Fine. Um, Nas Lizzy, yeah. let's go back to other patients. Uh, Rosalika, over to you. My boss is beginning to come around. I would have sworn he hated me. <laughs> yes, that's how he used to make me feel. You know this feeling when it seems like anytime he sees me, there's this thing that puts him off. That's what it was like. You don't mean it. Thank God, though. Hey! You know how long it took you to get this good paying job? <laughs> My daughter, hold it very tight. Jishie Yike. I'll be backing you up with my prayer, and I know God will intervene. Mm, Mama, I'm, I'm doing my best, though. And I'm trying really hard to learn everything fast, so I don't mess up around him. Because I noticed he appreciates it. There is this nurse that left, mm. and what's her name? Sandra, no, Sandra. He still sings her praises to us. My daughter, you are already intelligent. If I and your father had money, we would have trained you and you would have been better than your doctor. Mama. Mm hmm But I've told you I'm grateful for what you people did for me, you and daddy. Mm -hmm. Huh? I mean, who could have even believed that I went to nursing school? It would have been worse, but here we are. I'm grateful. I know. But just that the money wasn't there, we would have done better. It's fine. It is okay. Thank God for everything. You said things will get better, right? Yes. Okay, let's hold on to that. Mm -hmm. Take a look at this. Can you see exactly what I've been saying? We need to do more. Okay? Yes, ma'am. And uh, by the way, how far with the recruitment? I mean, the nurse. Sir, I have interviewed many. None is competent enough. Unless we employ and start training them from scratch. It's not easy to get a competent nurse now with the way they leave the country. I don't know what they learn from school these days. I noticed myself. Yes, uh, I noticed that um, the likes of Nurse Sandra and Inneka are rare to find these days. Sir, you also noticed. Nurse Inneka is real fire. She'll be as good as Sandra soon. Well, Nurse uh, Inneka is intelligent. But I doubt if she will be able to take care of... Uh, never mind. Uh, just work on this. All right, uh, make sure that uh, we dot our I's and cross our T's well. No errors, please. All right, sir. And um, take your time. Yeah. Take your time to get the good news. All right. Uh, yes, um, Matron, one more thing. Uh, please uh, send me the list of surgeries scheduled for next week. Oh, yes, sir. All right. Sir. That'll be all for now. All right, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. That's the list of surgeries scheduled for next week.
You're a night shift, right? Yes, sir. So tell me, how about yourself? He's doing great. Doing great. So tell me, what is he doing right now? I, I don't know. What if he needs you right now? He's in good hands. I have someone who is taking care. Someone else cannot be and can never be like you, his mother. I mean, what is wrong with you women? I mean, do you, you go about getting pregnant for the fun of it? I mean, if you're ready to bring a child to the world, you should be ready to take care of him or her. Do you have an idea what the boy might be going to right now? What if he's been molested, harassed, or taken advantage of? Answer me. Oh, I bet you never thought about it. Get out of my office. Out! Nosineka, are you okay? I'm fine. No. Oh, well, you don't look fine. Are you sure you're okay? My sister, let me tell you something. This world is not our own. I am just a passing by. Yes, this world is not our own. You see, this hospital, that is why I don't stress myself. I do the ones I can and leave the rest for God. Do you understand? Let me tell you. Don't worry. I said, don't worry. Don't worry. Hmm? Do the ones you can and leave the rest for God. Oh, yes. You know, God? That is God telling you. No, Seneca, Atulebu, Atulebu, Gikam no Nere. Eh, Lelanya, Buru Buru, no just my na. Hey, no, when Buchi de Kegio, mmm, Gababe, mmm, Genere Gaka. In the go? Let me go back to work, yeah? Sorry, oh. Did you do the laundry? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And did you also lay my husband's bed? Everything is done. Oh, that must be my husband. Please get it. Okay, ma'am. Oh, please, sir. You're welcome, sir. Welcome, welcome baby. Sir. Thank you. Oh. I brought her. Welcome, my wife. What's going on here? Can you imagine? Your other house help insulted me and called me names. You mean Mommy Francisca called you names? Yes, all sorts. Old cargo, you think my boss will marry you? Ugly bitch, desperate. Uh, Amaka, Amaka, Biko, Biko, Biko. Biko. I mean, what is the meaning of this? I mean, I know Mommy Francisca would never do such. What is wrong with you? I mean, she's been with me for over 10 years, and I know her so well. 
when you're only saying all of this because she has refused to bow to your whims. Ah, Michael, what is the matter with you? What has come over you? You've practically fired every member of my domestic staff. Why? Because they're all women. Babe, why not try Caroline? I mean, Mommy Caroline. She actually came highly recommended. And she's the same age as Madame Francisca. I don't even know why you like mothers as your house help. Now listen, see, the women in question are old enough to be our mothers. I mean, so I don't understand why they're out of us. Why? I mean, how would you have handled it if they were of your age? How? If they were younger women just like you, how would you have handled it? You know what? I'm getting Mommy Francisca back. Are you serious? Just wait and see. You're definitely not doing that. Oh, really? Wait and see. I've had enough of you. Mitsu! You're so demeaning. You don't respect me. And you allow your house elves to insult me. Okay, your answer is coming in a bit. Just hold on. Lala? Just uh, hand over the photograph, please. Oh my god. I'm about to get out of my house now! Get out of my house this minute! Are you asking me to leave your house? Out of my house this minute! I'm done with your egoistic self! Oh. Caroline, let Thank go. What nonsense would I have one tree? House. Um, is Dr. Kola back from break? Yes, ma'am. Okay, um, put a call through to the lab. I will just speak with her. Come on, come on, how Sir. How about yourself? Sir? Don't you have a son again? Uh, yeah, my son. He's doing great. Okay. I'll take good care of him, okay? You're all he's got. All right? Okay. She has had surgery in another hospital, but the pains returned. Oh. So she came and Dr. Ibuka operated on her. Mm -hmm. Do you know for two years now, that pain has disappeared? You don't mean I'm it. telling you. Yeah. So yesterday evening now, she came to the hospital and she gave Dr. Ibuka a check. I don't know mm -hmm. how much she gave him. All. Do you know that Dr. Ibuka shared every cobra amongst us? Hey, Dr. Ibuka. May I got 30,000? You don't mean it. Hmm. 30,000, at least that money can help us solve something. A lot of things now. <laughs> A lot. Like the man is very, very nice. Mama, do you know another thing? Dr. Ibuka, he might be a monster. He can be very rude and talk to people and people are scared of him. But that man, do you know that every surgery in that hospital, Dr. Ibuka does it himself. Ibuka. <laughs> Nobody helps him or he will do all the operation himself. The man can be a monster, but honestly, he's mm. the hard worker. Oh, he's a very good man, honestly. May God bless the woman and bless your Ebuka. Amen. Mm. Oh, Dr. Ebuka. Dr. Ebuka. My Ebuka. Amen. Ha. God really needs to bless that money. He's too nice mm. to make sure he shared everything. I don't, like I said, I don't know how much, but he shared everything amongst everybody. Mm -hmm. Who will do that? They say, Ebu, 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 Ebu. Ebu, ka here, Ebu, ka there. Oh. Ha. Mama, but the man is nice ah, now. If you other people, they will just pocket the I'm money. I'm not disputing it now. He's a nice man. Oh, yeah. Very nice. He's a nice man. Oh, very, very nice. Mm.
Please mm. indulge me. Uh, nothing. Why is it that you always come to work in Mukadra? Only for you to be entertained. The same thing you do after the close of work. Uh, aren't you proud of your profession? Sorry, I am. I just... You know what? Just go get prepared for the night shift. Where are you heading? Um, I'm going home, sir. Come in, let me help you. The weather doesn't seem too good. Sir. Get in. Um. Get in. Okay. Yeah, this way. Thank Sit you, down, sir. please. Show me the way. Thank you. It's this way. No, where? 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 This way. This way. Oh, okay. <sighs> So, tell me, how do you cope with your son? He stays with my mom. Oh, really? Wow. I never knew you had it all figured out. You know, I... I'm sorry for the way I spoke to you the other day. You know. It was because I've seen children get treated horribly, you know, not out of their own will, but parental negligence. So I'm sorry. It's fine. Wow. Whenever I'm not around, my mom takes care of him. Brian means the world to me, and I can't trade him for anything. That's good. Once again, I'm sorry. So you mean you come to work from this place every time? Yes. So which way? Left or right? Mm, right. right. Such a busy environment. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to know that you care. You need to meet Brian. He's the best kid ever. Mm. And I love him with everything in me. Mm. I'm happy to hear that. And I'm glad to know that he is your top priority. Mm. So now tell me, uh, where do you see yourself in the next five years in your profession? Well, I would love to take professional courses in nursing okay. and especially in theater. Wow. <laughs> so that you can run away. Mm. That's what you all do. <laughs> Not really. I really love to give Brian the best. Mm. Yeah. Everything I never had, I want to give my son. Mm. That's good. It's just there. Okay, there. Yeah. Wow. Okay. 
Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Take care of yourself. All right, bye. And send me well to. I will. Bye. bye. Brian, please eat fast. Now I have to go to work. Please, I need to finish this food. Okay. No, you can't be full. You have to eat. You've eaten very little, so you don't fall sick again. Eat fast. Eat. My daughter, eh? Leave him and go. Let me take over. No. The next thing that he will tell you he's full, he's okay, and you will leave him. You pamper him too much. Yeah. Don't like it. But are you not going late? Mm -mm. Normally, we resume by 8 a.m. in the morning. Even though Dr. Ibuka comes by 7 a.m. Mm. Not to worry. I know he doesn't like late coming, but I'll be fine. That's even true, Mama. Do you know, the other day, one of the nurses mentioned that Dr. Ibuka lives very close to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And that he said he'll be getting his staff quarters for those who would love to like stay close to the hospital too and he will take it monthly from our salary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm I'm sure a lot of people would like that idea. It's a very good one. Okay, 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 okay. Neg. Ma? Have you noticed that the only thing we hear in this house from beginning to the end is about Dr. Ibuka? Tell me, are you living inside this office or you're working inside this office? Mama, I don't understand. Neither do I. Then I mean, don't that do I understand? Stand up and go. Let me take over. Mama, wait. Give me. Wait, give me. wait, let me finish. I say, give me. Oh, you have to have it. Mama, you have to have it. Get up and go. You're going late. Stand up and go. Let me take over. When you go late now, they sack you. Now, how do you want us to cope? Before you know it, make sure you finish that food. You understand? Let go, Gawa. You will finish it. Bye bye. All right, bye. See you later. Bye. I'm ever bright. Now. Now. Oh, mommy. Okay. I know you eat, eh? Grandma wants to feed you, okay? Good boy. Good boy. Mm -hmm. That's my boy. Good morning, sir. Good morning. The matron asked me to give this to you. Oh, let me have it. <clears throat> I can't seem to make any sense out of any of this. <laughs> Now, take a look. This is okay where it is. But this, this should be here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so from here down, you can take this out. Okay. You have this thing on your uniform. Um, this is not professional enough. I'm very sorry, sir. I. Where did you walk away from me? My friends. Hello, darling. Gosh, you work so hard. How are you? You you can get back to me. Mm 
triste, pô. <risos> Porque eu te, eu te amo. Eu vou... Isso não fez. Do you like me like that? Most of you. Wait till you care for me. So what, what is it that I have to wait till I get her to see? You see what I'll be wearing waiting for you. Really? Uh -huh. So what would that be? Wait, nothing. So you get home. <laughs> okay, so um, what's the key? Reconciliation, of course. I missed you. <laughs> Hey, Toyosi. Yes. I'm in Ibuka's house. Yes, again. He used condoms. I know. But what do you want me to do? Beeps, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. He's coming. He's coming. <laughs> Hello, babe. Are you okay? Be careful with drink. If you like drink pasta, chef us up. No, no, no. Okay. I ordered pizza. Really? Oh. My daughter, I have noticed your mood these few days. Ogen. What is it, my daughter? Tell me it's okay. I'm fine. Bam, bam, bam. Don't tell me that now. Eh? Don't tell me you are fine when I can see you are not fine. What is wrong with you? I am your mother. Please share it with me. What is it? It's just, it's just the moral problems I'm experiencing. Just, I've just been thinking of how to take care of Brian alone. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Is that what you're talking about? God will surely help us out. Okay? As Brian is growing, it's the same way your income will continue to rise. Okay? <sighs> Please, my daughter. Don't allow this to disturb you. Okay? Let me go to sleep now. Okay. Ah, I'll check it with you. Everything will be okay. Yeah? There is no crying. Let me take it easy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
you, baby. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. I'm so happy. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, she almost ruined my glasses. <laughs> um. Well, yes. I know you. You can be crazy sometimes, but. You seem to understand me too now. Mm -hmm. And I have a strong conviction that you and I are compatible. And we're good to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting to hear this. So, yes, as an event planner, I'm going to get a home that befits our status next. I'm getting a decorator. And guess what? Our color for that day is pepper, them red, and gold must punish devil <coughs> green. Where are you coughing now? Also, the wedding I attended the other day, you need to see their cake decorator. Anyways, I got the number. I'm Babe our Ketra. Where are you going to use the best Ketra? Trust me on that. Marka. I'm not even... <sighs> you know what? I'm like my dad. Get us a proper event plan. Hmm? And this, uh, I am not out to pepper anybody. And that. Uh, God uh, must punish devil brain. Yes, especially that one. Amaka. Uh, you, you know what? Just get in touch with the cage. Get the bills and. Just let me know about it and I'll transfer the money to you. Okay. I'm an event planner. I'm not calm. <laughs> yes, I know. Hmm? Remember you introduced yourself as one when we met. And you also gave me a complimentary card, remember? But you and I know that you have never planned an event. Mm. 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 You and I know that you cannot lift if you can to do anything properly. Really? That's what <laughs> you're saying. Like that. That. <laughs> So please, let's just, let's just, just do what I've said, okay? <laughs> Let me call my friend. Oh! Wow. So you see? Yes, sir. Yes. I'm getting married. See you later. Yeah, your friend is the latest friend. Amen. Oh! <laughs> you can see that again. Yes. Finally. Yes, it's a Macau. <laughs> you know, I just have this strong feeling that um, uh, she seems to understand me better. Yes. <laughs> uh, thank you. Yes, yes, I'll talk to you later, okay? <laughs> uh, very funny, dude.
خیلی مادر I'm getting married. How'd you like to call? Yes, son. Yes. That's fine. That's fine. It's okay. But I, I hope you got your last month's allowance. Make sure you take your medications. All right. How were you? I hope you're okay. Yeah, this one you're calling me. Oh, the one I'm, I hope I'm safe. Hey, Eddie, I'm just coming back now. I took my granddaughter to school. I'm just coming back. Yes, I hope all is well. This one you're calling me. Oh, Neka. Neka, Neka has gone to work now. Where'd you go? I hope everything is okay. America. Hey, hey! It's over there, you go. Chineke me! Mm! Abu monye noa, onye kambo noa. Abu monye chineke ne chere me chichoma o. Hey, ume mama. Thank you for this news you've just given me. As soon as Neka comes back, I will pass the message to her. Eh? You know? Thank you so much, eh? Nguan, we will talk later, eh? Nguan, you see Ken? Oh, there, over there, you go. Hey, Yes, Amaka, it's fine. Uh, you get the six million today. Uh, and please, Amaka, make sure you use a good events planner. I'm sure you can do that, right? Okay, good. Yeah, I'll talk to you later, okay? I've got work to do. All right. Later. Nesneka, how are you? Uh -huh. Did you know that the MD is finally getting married? Yes, it might be a rumor, but it's a good news. Once he marries, all this shouting, shouting, shouting will end. What do you think? I said it. Something is going on between these two. What is my business? My business is to go to the wedding, eat rice, drink. Hey! Jesus! Nemo. So how do you see the guy? 
I think he's nice. Neka. Ma. Ah. Hey. I was asking you a question. I said, how is Ezekiel? How do you see him? My friend's son, in law friend, that is in UK. I think he looks good. That was the same thing you said yesterday. That means we are making progress, okay? That reminds me. Have you sent your pictures to me? But I'm sure I'm sure you will like you. No, I haven't. Mama, I'll definitely do that. It's just that there's no time to go to the cyber cafe. There will be time in Jesus' name. I don't like the way you are just you are just dragging your leg. Eh? Machine here okay, now. You are just dragging your leg. Eh? My dear, listen to me. I am not asking you to jump into anything. By the time the two of you will start talking, you will get to know yourselves better. I am not asking you to rush. Okay? Because this tender heart of yours cannot afford to any heartbreak again. Remember what happened when you lost Brian's dad? I almost lost you too. So become one. Just take it easy, okay? Okay. And let's go in. Because I don't like the way you are sitting down. I'm just Let's go in. I'm just relaxed. Let's go in. Oh, Hassan. Oh, yeah, you. Yeah. Okay. Hey, it was really nice talking to you. All right, take care. Bye. I find it is so difficult to let this girl out of my mind. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Yes, uh, I need you to come over, please. Yes. Was that Ezekiel? Yes, it was him. 
This one is calling like this. He seems to be very serious. But come go quagi. Take it easy. Hey, Lily. Remember, you have a fragile heart. Hmm? So think about that. Well, he's actually a very cool guy. But it's just this thing with him trying to rush everything. It's, everything is going too fast. He really wants to get me a car and and he wants me to take a leave and come visit him. Eh? So, I hope you have not been collecting money from him. Well, he actually asked and I refused. Aside the things he sent you, I've not collected anything from him. Mm. Okay, well, that's a good one. But, um, do you love him? <laughs> well, I don't even know how to answer that question. I mean, it's difficult to answer because it's just phone conversations we've been having. I've not seen him in person. Yeah, like I said on the phone, he's, he actually sounds okay. But, you know, phone conversation is not enough to judge. Yeah, you're right. So, let's just watch out and see how it unfolds. Hmm? Yeah. My grandson, I've really slept, so. Mm. Oh, no. All right, Mom. Oh, good night. Good night. I'm sleeping, oh. I wasn't born this way. Circumstances taught me how to live, live my life. Sometimes situations taught me how to live, live my life. Sometimes situations can turn an angel into a demon. And sometimes situations can turn a beast into an angel. It all depends, it all depends. So don't let your past determine your future. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on. You have been avoiding me. But listen, whatever it is I might have done wrong, please, I am sorry. Okay? That sounds like a good shot. I have to call my mom and my son. I have to run. No, 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 Hello, Mama. Are you are you are you people okay? Are you sure you are okay? All right. 
Okay, fine. Uh, what, what did she say? She said you're fine and that the police are there already. Oh, thank goodness, thank you. Oh. Oh. Thank goodness. I said everything was going to be fine. Now all you need now is good food and sleep. Okay? Huh? I hope you enjoyed the meal. Of course I did. Really? Yes. Um, I never knew that you, you, sir, can actually cook. Why? A man to cook. Of course. <laughs> well, I actually uh, never knew that um, you would insist on taking water. Well, water is life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's true. Uh, <laughs> You see, I must be truthful to you. You're a good company. You know, it's um, obvious that you can only know a person outside the office. You're nice to talk to, too. Really? <laughs> I mean, outside the office, of course. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um. Sometimes it seems like you jungle two personalities. Oh, well, I hear that every time. So many times. Is there a reason? Uh, okay, um, is the second one that bad? Very deadly. <laughs> really? Yeah, like everyone is scared of you. Everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a big one. Uh, okay, how about you? When I say everyone, that includes me too. But then, this person here right now, it's... It's so sweet. Yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um... Hi, Ezekiel. Um, I'm good. No, I'm not at home yet. How are you doing? How is your day going? That uh, was your your boyfriend. Sort of. Sort of. What do you mean by sort of? It's either he is your boyfriend or he's not. Um. Someone introduced us to each other, and since then we've been talking on the phone, but we've never met. Oh. I see. I'm guessing he is in the States or somewhere abroad. Okay. Uh, I guess it's time for us to, to go to bed. We've got a lot of work to do tomorrow. I'll just hit your room. Thank you. Excuse me. Oh. Shall we?
I'm sorry. I can't. I understand. Um, your room is the second room by your right. Good night. So run the test when they've all gone as usual, okay? Yeah. I've checked and Miss Lizzie will be gone on night duty. That one is done. What does she know? Wow! This will fetch us some good money! <laughs> money <Ego. right. laughs> Thank God I met you in this hospital. This test is very expensive outside. We are going to run things together in this hospital. We are going to make good money. I'm thinking, God, you see? The MD does not joke with new equipment. Yes. <laughs> that is how we want things here. Corner the patient, charge half the money, and still run the test. Mm -hmm. Listen, I've been doing this for over a year, even before you got here. There is money in this, and I'm glad you're cooperating. Why wouldn't I cooperate? <laughs> Maybe to get sense. <laughs> Who would say? How could you? How could you? Dr. Ibuka can be anything, but at least he pays everyone well. Do you know how much he spent on these equipment last month? Do you? He hasn't even made any money from it. And you go behind him to run private tests with his patients and his equipment. That's despicable. This is the file for the samples you were asked to run tests on. No, no, Sneka, please. What? Please, I beg you. Please. I have a sick mom at home. And that's one please, it's just to earn extra cash, please. No sir. I'm finished. What do we do now? I don't know. Then. Can I have the files? This goes to the doctor. And this is the records. Let's make a please. <laughs> Sabi girl. I wasn't born this way. Circumstances. Taught me how to live, live my life. Sometimes 
situation Come to an angel in word demon And sometimes situation Can turn a beast into an angel It all depends, it all depends So don't let your past determine your future Get the best of you, the best of you. Uh, never let bitterness destroy your heart, destroy your heart. Mm-hmm. So tell me. Gross. Those lab scientists are very wicked. Eh? Oh, eh? Would they like other people to do the same thing to them too? Well, I'm watching them and I pray they really, really stop. Because if I see they are still doing it, I will definitely report to the matron. Hey, thank God. Thank God that I trained you very well. Asamo. Hey, mom, mom, you're always making me proud. Have you finally considered Ezekiel? Yes, now. Eh? The reason why I'm asking, because for some days now, I have been noticing that uh, you are becoming more serious with him. Of course not. It's not like I have a lot of people that are interested in me. Mm. More so. I have his son, and the fact is that people here, the men here, they don't really like our type, but Ezekiel is exposed to the Western life. So me having a son is not really a big deal for him. So yeah. Uh-huh. That's a very good decision. Oh, Mamu, you know that now my mind is becoming, eh? My mind is so sweet. Thank you, my daughter. Eh? Hey, hey, let's not forget. I was at, um, Brian's school today. <sighs> you sent for me, sir. You were expected to give a patient anti malaria injection. Instead, you give the person drug went for hypertensive patient. What? Think what? what? I'm still talking. Do you know the damage you've caused? I mean, what if the patient didn't pull through? Sir. Keep quiet. I am still talking. What if the patient didn't pull through? We would have lost a life. And this hospital, my hospital, would have ensued. Sir, I didn't do that. I knew exactly what I injected him with. You're now insulting my intelligence? Sir, no. I'm only. Keep quiet! Shut down that train, you call him out. Listen, if you're tired of this job, why don't you just be quit? There are thousands of people out there who are ready to take up your position. I'm sorry, sir. But I can't take responsibility for something I obviously did not do. I know what. Uh, 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 young lady, now listen. Listen to me. And listen good. This should never repeat itself. I come to think of it, I'm only doing this because of humanity. 
Bearing in mind that you have a son. Should there be a report of your incompetence again? It's either you'll leave my hospital or you'll be behind bars. Have I made myself clear? Understood! Let's get out. Just go. Out. Nonsense. I'm so sorry, sir. Mrs. Kalu, I am highly disappointed in you. Under your what? Under your what? Please leave. You can go. You can go, please. No, 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 no. I shouldn't have spoken to her that way. I shouldn't have. I mean, I know better. It was too much. It was too much. It was too much. It was too much. Come to think of it, I mean. People's lives are in danger. It was endangering people's lives. You wouldn't expect me to just sit down, just not say anything. Hey darling, Senator, calm down. Even if I'm getting married, I'm still yours forever. <laughs> I can't be for one man. Faithfulness. Please, 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 please. Don't talk about faithfulness here. <laughs> How will I fund my lifestyle hmm? if I'm faithful to just one man? Please, though, I'm not for one man at all. The ego is very important. <laughs> I can't wait to see you. Love you. Kisses. Bye. Huh. Amaka! You! Shoot your daddy! Babe, calm down. Don't it's play! Not, it's not what you think. Don't tell me. What have you ever asked for that I denied you? Babe, babe, listen. Stop playing! Don't play me! Babe, listen to me. Just calm down. You know what? It's over. I can't explain. It's over. I can't explain. Babe, 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 please listen to me. I can't explain. Get out of my house. Babe, please. Don't, don't, babe, don't touch me. Babe, don't do that. Stay. Get out of my house. Please, babe, please. Babe. I, I have you. laid a finger on the wall. Don't let me understand with you. you. I'll explain to you. I'll explain to you. Get out of my house. I'll explain to you. It's all over between you and I. What is the problem? What is it? This is your mood swing. I don't understand. I don't like the way you've been behaving these days. What is the problem? Please talk to me. Mama, what is I am tired. I'm tired of everything. Nothing seems to be working. I think I will just get married to Ezekiel so I can leave this country. I understand how you feel, my daughter. I'm beginning to think that everything that is happening now is for a reason. Probably it's for you to see that Ezekiel is actually the right man for you. 
If you are satisfied in your place of work, I don't think you take up traveling. I hope you know that. Raymond, please take it easy. Take it easy. I've always told you, all that the charm now, all will be well. Mama, eh? don't cry again. I can't continue like this. What nonsense is this? <laughs> Sir. Take a look at those files. Oh, no. No, sir. I didn't do this. I submitted these files with the results in them, the exact way the lab scientists gave them to me. It's obviously from them. Now, listen. Those results were switched, obviously. Now, I have worked with the head of units for six good years, and nothing like this has ever happened before. You know why? Because I trust her. Now, with the grievous mistake you committed recently, I can't say that of you. Now, the big question now is, why are you hell-bent on bringing down my hospital? Why? All these accusations, just because of your personal feelings. Look here, woman. Watch your tongue. I won't allow you insult me in my office. You know what? I can't go over this again. Oh. It has now gotten to the point where you now decide on what job to do? No. You. You're very, very rude. You bully people. You're not approachable. You're rigid. What? How do you talk about me in such manner? Do you think you know me? Do you? Exactly. This moment you're cold and the next you're blowing really hot. You think you're the only person who has a problem? Everybody in this hospital does. But yes, they don't make us feel uncomfortable because of their problems. But you, that's not fair. I can't, I can't continue with this erratic behavior of yours. I quit. You, you, you what? I wasn't born this way Circumstances Taught me how to live Live my life Sometimes situations Can turn an angel into a demon And sometimes Good day, Doctor. Good day. Uh, Mrs. Khan. Sir. I'm not uh, in the right frame of mind to attend to any patient right now. Transfer the severe cases to Dr. Kola. Okay, sir. And uh, we should all the others. All right, sir. Uh, but, Doctor, yes. you need to say this. Your past determine your future. Don't let your yesterday determine your tomorrow. Live your life the best way you can, so freely as you can, and leave the past behind. Don't let anger take over you. Live your life the best way you oh, can. Yeah, 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 yeah. So write the missing letter in the box. Well, write the spelling word well, correctly on the line. So this one is. What in the world are you doing here? Good evening. Ah, good evening. You're welcome. Thank you. You must be Mecca's ex-boss. 
um, Dr. Erica Mayan talks about it all the time. Wow, Brian, I've heard a lot of wonderful things about you too, like how amazing and smart you are. Thank you. You're welcome, Brian. Nah. You're welcome, eh? Oh, sit down and make yourself comfortable, okay? Nah. You must entertain your guests. Please listen. I ask you again, what in the world are you doing here? Aleka, you were set up. The matron eventually found out the two lab scientists. She found out all the atrocities they committed. They actually confessed at the police station so that I don't make further charges. Fine. Apology accepted. You can leave. Nika, come on. You know, it's a, it's a health facility. I couldn't afford to have taken chances. I should have trusted you. But I have used trust in women. Please come back to me. I am sorry. If sorry could solve situations, there won't be need for the police and the prison. Yes, that sounds more like you give me my five minutes. Oleka, you've gradually, you're gradually becoming my essence. I'm falling for you. Look, those days without you at work has been hell for me. Please, come back to me. If I am your essence, then what about your fiancé? She's gone. Gone for good. Um, I need to realize that she was just in for the money. All she wanted was money. My money. Well, I want a companionship, which wasn't good, right? I know. But I guess we weren't meant for each other. We should be talking about Ezekiel. How about it? Ezekiel and I were never meant to be. So I quit. But what's this thing between not trusting women? Like, uh... It's a long story. I wasn't built like this. I wasn't born this way. I have PTSD. Circumstances. Taught me you need how to professional live, help. Live my life. Sometimes situations. Thank you. Thank you so much for everything. Thanks for booking the session. I'm glad you love it. That was your last section. Can you at least talk to me now? I was raised by a single mother. A mother 
who never cared about All she did was just to blame me. She blamed me for everything. She blamed me for all of her misfortunes. It all started with with her conceiving. She thought if she did that, the man she loved would marry her. But unfortunately, that never happened. She blamed me. Or making our lose out of life. <laughs> we were poor. But I remember how parents of poor children did cater for their own children. Nigga, I hooked. I hooked as little as I was. Oh, oh. I hugged double portion. Not because she asked me to. But because I chose to. Believing that if I did so, she would, she would love me. But what did I get? The same treatment. <sighs> my, my mother blamed me for everything. A woman that calls herself my own mother. Money was say. Shortly after, she dumped me at her mother's in the ghetto. And No, 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 quite long. A suitor came first. Huh? And my mother, my mother denied, she denied me, calling me her nephew. But what if my mother denied me? She denied me. She called me a nephew. Yes, she sent money, but that was the what I needed. I needed her love, 
I Not quite long. I started going to a church in the area just because I wanted to drift away from her. It was there that I eventually made the place my home. This time came when the pastor of the church was to recommend some workers children for scholarship to go study to medical courses. I was lucky to have been a worker. Unfortunately, as fate would have it, my mother was unable to bear a child for the man, the man he abandoned me for. Man had to marry another woman. Yeah, that was how they got separated. I'm so sorry. It's okay. That, that, that was how I became grumpy, grumpy and every woman. I couldn't find myself to love any woman. The emotional connect was never there. I couldn't connect emotionally with any woman. <laughs> Oh God. And I, I, I kept up with that. <laughs> that was why I tried pushing you away. I, I, I had to go on with the wedding arrangement. In preparation because I just wanted to get you out of my head. Really? <sighs> Where is she now? I mean, your mom. Delta. She's in Delta. I got her a house and I make sure I send her a monthly allowance.
私への購入。Not when she has everything that she needs. <sighs> How do you feel talking about this now? <sighs> I feel so good. Honestly. It feels good. Wait a minute. Did you call me, my love? If only you know how long I've had that in my head. Oh. Oh. Oh no. So. It, it, oh no. So it, it happened to you too. I thought I was the only one caught up in this love trap. <laughs> Make up. Your mood swing was because of him, Akwaya? Yes, because you talk about Dr. Ebuka endlessly here. Dr. Ebuka Mereka, Dr. Ebuka did this surgery, Dr. Ebuka gave this person money, Dr. Ebuka this, Dr. Ebuka, even in a Dr. Ebuka, Ebuka, Ebuka. You see it? Eh? So, oh, love, Napa. Eh, love, name. When I was telling you, in a fishy, baka, 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 that is how you were doing your hair. When I was telling you, eh, hona, niya now. Let me tell you, what an elder we see sitting down. Even if he climbed the highest Iroko tree, you will not see it. You see, the way you're smiling. I'm so happy for you. Eh? Thank I you. need to go and inform my fellow women. Mm -hmm. Now, we need to start making preparation. There is no preparation okay. yet. Let to... me go and start making my preparation. Eh? Don't worry. Hey, hey, Chibo. Yes. You know, I just don't feel good about this. I don't think I can do it. Hold on. Hmm? You can. Huh? And trust me, you're going to feel much more better. I don't think I can. Please. Are you sure about this? I'm very sure. <sighs> Please.
Ein Dutzend. Gut, ihr Mama. Weißt du? Lecker. Mach ich gern sehen. I know I hurt you. I made horrible choices. I took a path of self destruction that hurt everybody, everything in my life. Especially you. <laughs> it is not because I did not love you. <laughs> I wanted to release all the hurt, bitterness, anger in me. I am so sorry that I heaped everything on you. Please, I want you to find it in your heart to forgive me. Please. Mother. You can't just do whatever you want and think you would go scot free. You made mistakes that affected me. That affected me mostly. And now you want everything to come back to normal. Like none of it ever happened. Simply because you're here, sitting, saying sorry. You have every right to be angry with me. Yes. And I take full responsibility for all that happened. But please, my son, I want you to know that I have paid dearly for it. Um, why? Why, mother? Why? Why did you consider how tender I was? Why did you consider how fragile and vulnerable I was at that time? At that tender age? Can we please forget about the why? Not because it's not important, but because sometimes Wise are not necessary. My son, I love you. I missed you. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry, my son. Please. I am so sorry that I broke your heart and made you lose trust. This has been my favorite seat for the past years. Looking out through the window, hoping, wishing for me. To get a glimpse of you. <laughs> so please, 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 please. <laughs>
I'm glad I listened to you. I'm happy we made this trip. You know, I feel so light like a feather. I'm glad we did too, honey. Uh, you know what I realized from this whole process? One strong thing. Well, it's that it's unhealthy to rob on someone else. You're hurt. You don't take it into out on another person. The circle just keeps repeating itself endlessly. Yes. Which makes me wonder. How do medical doctors manage to fix others when they themselves are broken? How did they on a daily give out something they don't even have? It's not it's not just about you, honey. A lot of health workers are going through some things. And they need to talk to someone or people. They need to vent. They need to heal. Doctors need doctors too. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you too. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <sighs> okay. I wasn't built like this. I wasn't born this way. Circumstances taught me how to live, live my life. Sometimes situations can turn an angel into a demon. And sometimes situations can turn a beast into an angel. It all depends, it all depends. So don't let your past determine your future. Yo, yo, yo. Don't let your yesterday determine your tomorrow. Yo, yo, yo. Don't let your past determine your future. Yo, yo, yo. Don't let your yesterday determine your tomorrow. Live your life the best so freely as you can and leave the past behind don't let anger